we have an interesting project here. This is an old pencil barrel Smith & Wesson Model 10. Uh, a friend of mine got a hold of me recently and said that a, a friend of his had come across this in a drawer apparently down uh, somewhere in their house that had been sitting there for a long long time and uh, as you can see it is loaded and it doesn't open. Now when you push forward on the cylinder release uh, that's moving obviously the cylinder will move a little bit and the cylinder will rotate but it doesn't appear that the cylinder uh, release is actually pushing forward on the uh, on the locking area on the front of the extractor rod so uh, I'm going to be gently playing with this here and if that doesn't work I'm going to have to take it outdoors and uh, see what more I can do with it to see if we can get this open The fact that nothing is moving up there tells me we may, it's almost as though it's, uh, it's not pushing the, uh, the extractor pin through far enough. Now it doesn't feel like anything is rusty or locked up here. May end up having to get to take the side plate off while I'd rather not take the side plate off while it's loaded. But the fact that nothing is moving up here tells me that that may be where there's a problem. Sometimes if you push something really narrow in through here and you can release that. But this is not going in through the gap so maybe I need a feeler gauge or something even a little thinner to go through there we're gonna work on this and uh, we'll report back on the condition once I get it open we'll see what we can do to actually make this gun look a little bit better stay tuned all right it took a little work but uh, it was actually went easier than I thought I did get the side plate off uh, and uh, it, it wasn't rusted in place, backed off the mainspring screw, took off the, uh, the mainspring, and managed to uh, wedge a wide screwdriver between the hammer and the cylinder release, and that's where it was stuck. It wasn't pushing forward far enough. Got that forward, the uh, cylinder now comes out, and there's, there's what was in it. All right, not as bad as I thought. It uh, does have a definite thick coat of barnacles on it. I think we're going to have to take this totally apart, spray it down, and um, see if we can restore this to some semblance of function again. And stay tuned for the next, uh, next part of this video. All right, got it uh, further apart and uh, slow process. Things were <laughs> pretty solid together there. Definitely, uh, definitely going to be some work to try to salvage this. Um, never get all the pits out of it, but we'll take it apart and uh, try to get it back together as good as we can. It was hanging up right here and uh, this was the part that was locked up it wouldn't push out at all so I've been working at it quite a bit now with uh, some WD-40 and finally got it to where it'll actually return on its own with the spring and it'll that'll fairly easily work so I'm confident that this thing will go back together it'll work it's not going to be a really pretty gun when we're done but an old pencil barrel model 10 it's got to have uh, some sentimental value to somebody we'll do the best we can with it stay tuned well this is going to take a lot of work to make this gun even somewhat pretty but it will be functional and actually i don't know if you'll see it on the camera or not here but the uh, the bore is in better shape than i expected it to be 
I don't see any pitting in there so I'm thinking when I got it back together I probably would not hesitate to shoot this gun again <laughs> it's not going to be pretty making this pretty is is a long way from uh, from my expertise a lot of polishing and uh, full re-bluing but um, we get it back together it's going to work and one thing I didn't show is what came out of it. Good old 158 grain lead Remington Peters 38 Special. And my guess is, based on my experience with uh, ammo like this, my guess is this would still work. Alright, it's not pretty, but pretty is not in my job description. Uh, the work it's going to take to make this pretty is far far beyond what uh, I'm capable of it's going to take a lot of polishing and re-bluing uh, it'll just because of the pitting on it it'll never get back to normal however cylinder opens cylinder rotates it extracts nicely rebounds nicely from the extraction and the uh, chambers themselves again not not that bad on the inside. No real significant pitting. And best part about it is it works. It locks up tight. This gun has not had a lot of use. So it does lock up tight. Typical Smith & Wesson action. Alright, so back from the grave. Um, I'd shoot it, I'd be comfortable with it, but again, it's never going to be pretty. So, at least it works. I'm not a gunsmith, but there it is. That's it. I hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, we appreciate a thumbs up, and by all means, subscribe, click on notifications, share these videos so the word on Rider's Range can get out. And thank you for visiting Rider's Range.